Well, if it ain't the pot calling the kettle blacky. Hey, Tommy. Last time I checked, you was black too, girl. But since you want to break it down in the shades, we gonna talk about it. Let's go, baby, because this is a big deal. Let's do it. First of all, y'all, welcome back, baby. My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not already, go ahead and comment, subscribe, and like this video, baby. Turn on my post notifications so you can be alerted when I post a new video, girl. Now, let's get into it. Miss Tommy, you done lost your rabbit-ass mind, baby. You done lost it, okay? See, I thought you had lost it when you was um doing drugs and throwing fights and shit at the Floyd Mayweather thing. No, you ain't lose it then. Then I thought you lost it when you was talking about Chris Brown's baby. No, you ain't lose it then. Then I thought you lost it when you lost your everlasting mind and hit your boss while she was eating and almost snatched that bitch's wig off. Okay? Pilt it right up off Natalie Nunn's scalp. No, you ain't lose it then. You didn't lose it then. You lost it when you, as a black woman, decided to call another black woman blackie. Here we go, boo. So, truth be told, y'all, I knew this had happened. I knew it for a few days, and I knew it because I was in the live. I had came in the live, literally, true story, I came in the live about 45 seconds before Tommy said the word blackie out of her mouth. And I was doing something. I was about to start screen recording and I was doing something. And in the midst of me doing something, I hear her say blackie. And I, oh, and I jumped up, girl, and I hit screen record. I was hoping she was going to say it again because I didn't catch it. I had hit screen record maybe three or four seconds after she said it. And I was praying. I said, please let somebody have been screen recording it. Let somebody have got it. Please let it blow up and go viral so I can talk about it. And look! Caught your slick ass, didn't we, Grandma? Yeah, bring your old ass over here, boo. So, it's always some light, bright, two shades from white ass bitch coming from a black queen because she's everything you wish you were. And I'm not talking about all light-skinned women, but there is a small subset group of women um, that are jealous of dark-skinned women. Just like there's a small group of gay men that's jealous of cisgender women, there's a small group of trans women, jealous of cisgender women, small group of women, jealous of gay men, for what reason, I don't know why. It's always a small group of this person, that person, that person that's jealous of another group of people for some unknown reason. And just like every other case, that's what we're dealing with right now. We are dealing with a woman who is insecure with herself, a woman who at the age of 38 years old is trying everything she can, everything in her power, everything in her grasp to turn back them, to them clocks. Uh, Damn, bitch, what was I saying, girl? I'm high, girl. Anyway, turn back the clocks of time. You trying your hardest to reverse this motherfucking trailer, bitch. Reverse this motherfucking train that you own that's leading your ass to the path to the nursing home, bitch. You over there every time you get a check from Zeus running to a motherfucking CNA to get your face and your ass pumped up with every motherfucking thing got an aisle 12 at Home Depot, bitch. Just so you can try to regain or rekindle a little bit of your youth that you had when you was on Love and Hip Hop. While you talking shit about Cat, that beautiful melanated chocolate queen, it is that exact beautiful melanin that is causing her to look exactly the same as she did on Bad Girls Club almost 15 years ago. Meanwhile, you less than a decade ago was on VH1 looking half the age that you do now. And you done brought your ass on Baddies West with all them fillers up in your cheeks, fillers up in your chin, fillers up in your jaw. Looking like Thriller with all that filler, bitch. I did not know what the fuck was going on. While Miss Cat is aging like fine wine, meanwhile. Your ass is on the other side of the grocery store, bitch, in the dairy section, aging like butter. And your neck look like string cheese, bitch. How dare you come for Cat? We all know you jealous of her. Cat is beautiful, Okay. Chocolate, light skin, whatever skin. She's beautiful. Cat is married to a fine ass man, a rich ass man. 
Cat owns multiple businesses, bitch. You just started Kilt Frames two days before Baddies aired, bitch. So we could think that you own something. So you could feel like you was a boss. Just so you could feel like you was above everybody else on the cast. Meanwhile, bitch, Kilt Frames ain't nothing but a motherfucking knockoff. You done uh, uh, got off Alibaba, AliExpress, put some packaging labels on, bitch, and shipped it off under a different motherfucking name. We all know that shit come from China. And meanwhile, while you sitting there talking shit about Kat calling her a motherfucking lapdog for Stunner Girl, bitch, wasn't you a lapdog for Natalie Nunn on that jet? Wasn't you fanning out when you got on that motherfucking jet? Let's not act like the only picture of Tommy on her page on Instagram in a private jet while you lying talking about you take PJs, bitch. The only PJ we ever saw you in on your Instagram is when you and Natalie was on the show, bitch. Check the outfit. It's the same motherfucking picture. Uploaded months before the uh, show actually aired to make it look like you was on a private jet by yourself, bitch. Let's talk about it, Miss Tommy Lee. Cat owns two clothing companies, honey. Two clothing companies. And look this up, baby. Two years ago, Cat, her, uh, her husband just opened a yacht rental service. Bitch, what? Cat owns multiple boutiques. She has a ring on her finger, baby. Okay? She not sharing some lady's motherfucking leftover ass husband like you, Tommy. Because let's not forget, two weeks ago, I was on your Instagram live while you were sitting on some uh, old ass man's pool table showing off his cars through his see-through garage. Bragging on his accomplishments and what he got. Meanwhile, you playing past the nigga with his wife. Let's talk about it. That man was so ashamed and embarrassed, bitch. I knew he was cheating how he was ducking down underneath that baseball cat. Stop fucking playing. Cat is bona fide and verified. She ain't got to shit her husband with nobody. You still out here playing a little girl's game. You out here competing with bitches half your age full nick for niggas. And dinner dates. Trying to get flued out with your old ass when you got bad knees and bad hips, bitch. You can't even motherfucking party in club properly, bitch. Because you got to go to the bathroom and put on Bengay. Hold on, I'm hot. Girl, I'm so sick of this lady, girl. It's like Tommy, you just don't know when to quit. It's a special place in hell for a bitch like you who causes division amongst women the way you do, Tommy. You always talking about female empowerment this, female empowerment that, bitch, but you don't believe that. Because as much as you empowered Biggie, soon as you got a chance, bitch, soon as you got mad, soon as your sister and them came, and you was cool and you ain't need Biggie no more to be your motherfucking flunky, you tossed her to the left. You act like you was cool with Kat on the show. All of a sudden, you snapping and, and calling her out her name, calling her Blackie? Are you serious? Tommy, you've been light-skinned for a long motherfucking time, bitch. See, Miss Tommy has been light-skinned through elementary school, through middle school, through high school. So Tommy is specialized in the art of making a black woman feel less than human by weaponizing her skin tone against her. She knows very well what she's doing and she knows exactly how she was supposed to be trying to make Kat feel with that statement, bitch. But I doubt you did much of anything because Miss Kat is solidified, baby. She don't need to compete with nobody. No dark-skinned woman needs to compete with any light-skinned woman for anything. Okay? Because black is beautiful in all shades. Now, I know I've said some motherfucking um, um, misguided comments, but let's be honest here. When you are of a demographic, you do make blind statements sometimes. I'm a dark-skinned man, so I might make a, a joke about a dark-skinned person and make it blindly because I'm in that group. I'm in that subset. Just like black people use the N-word blindly. But that's not what happened here because Tommy, you're not dark skinned and you've never been dark skinned. So you know exactly what those kind of statements coming out of a light skinned person's mouth mean and how they're intended and what they could possibly do to somebody's esteem. 
You dead ass wrong, Tommy. You dead ass wrong. And you too old for that. We are too old for that. And see, like a grown ass, boss ass bitch, what you should have did is as easily as you stood up and said that fuck shit. You need to stand there and apologize to that lady. Regardless if you like her, if you hate her, if you think she's a pick me, if you think she's a fucking follower, a clunky, whatever you feel about that boss ass, beautiful African queen. You need to humble yourself and apologize. Because truth be told, bitch, you wish you was Miss Motherfucking Cat. You wish you was that darky. And that's all I'm going to say on the topic. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel and donate to my cash app if you want to help the channel because we trying to do some big things over here, y'all. I got something special coming for y'all. I got something real special coming for y'all. It's the art project, so I'm, I'm kind of doing it myself and buying stuff and putting it together. It's a lot of time. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, y'all, that was crazy. But stay tuned. I'm going to come back to y'all with some more videos for the day. And that's all I got, y'all. I ain't got no more. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.